Welcome to Uhurst Green Model Railway and this is our third technical video. We're still on the subject of multiple unit surging and may I thank everybody who has contributed to the previous two videos. In front of us we have two multiple units, one Backman BEP, one Backman 4 SEP. The SEP being the older of the two models. When coupled and run together these units surge. When uncoupled, as was seen in previous videos with the blue-grey units, one unit is faster than the other. I shall demonstrate. This suggests the surging is related to differences in motor speed. On the downline, four number two HAP units are about to pass by. All are from the same batch, all renumbered from the same unit, and there is no apparent surging taking place. Here are a pair of forcep units, they are from the original builds from Backman. Running together they do not surge. And when they pull away, although the minor speed differential is nowhere near as pronounced as that between the 4BEP and the forcep. Add a motor luggage van onto the front of the 8 car, the motor luggage van running at a similar speed, and again there was no surging. Here we have a 4 SEP arriving with two, two EPBs, again no surging. I'll pause the video, uncouple and let's see the relative speeds of the 4 car and the 2 2 cars. The 2 2 cars are slightly faster than the 4 car but nowhere near the speed differential between the 4BEP and the 4SEP. And part of this is not surprising as there's two motor bogies powering the 4-car EPB formation and one motor bogey on the 4SEP. But let's go and try then four 4 two EPBs running together. Or two 2PB units, again no surging. Well, there was a 12 hat formation, again no surging. What do I hear somebody say? Are you sure that's a hap on the end of the unit? Let's bring it back and have a look. Backman model haps are the batch 2 variety without roof lighting trun trunking. The end unit has been converted using roofing from a Backman 2EPB and a 2H driving trailer to turn it back to a batch one hap 
Again, it's also got the EPB under frames of the Crack 1951 control gear. Just a little aside for interest. All this suggests the surging is down to a differential in motor speeds. So let's try something slightly different. Here we have the two or four BET units, blue, grey and green, running together. Both are slightly faster than the set units. And as can be seen, no surging. So let's bring the two units back, uncouple them, and see just what the speed difference is between them. Here are the two BEPs, just a few inches apart. If we open the power control up, you can see they move away together more or less at the same speed. In other words, there's not a significant speed disparity. I therefore believe that we can safely conclude that the motors in the later models, the four BEP and some of the four SEPs, have different motor characteristics to previous models, and their increased speed is what's leading to the surging. I thank you for your support in undertaking this. The next question is what to do next? Of the DCC sound units, I can't give much more comment because the current test, as you'll see in a moment, appears to show both units having evenly matched motors, which should be the case as they're produced at more or less the same time, I suspect on the same production line. So what happens next on US Green? Well at the moment the 4BET will run solo until its motor can be exchanged with an older version. As for the rest of the fleet, that seems quite content and happy to keep running either in multiple or singly. Thank you for watching.